To think that university students are the only ones responsible for the recent wave of anti-Semitism on campus is absolutely naive. Well, of course, they are responsible for their own actions. The universities are the ones responsible for responding to them. The Broken Windows principle, created by two professors, one at Rutgers and one at Harvard, and later popularized by Brett Stevens, maintains that a building has windows. And if one window is broken, that sends a message that no one cares about the building because no one has bothered to fix the window. Now, imagine that our building is a university campus and that these windows are being increasingly broken. Windows, in our case, are values like free speech, tolerance, and freedom from discrimination. And these windows are being increasingly shattered. I'm not one for histrionics, but I am one for painful truth. These windows continue to be broken and will continue to be broken until universities take action. These windows will continue to be broken as long as hate speech, discrimination, and anti-Semitism are tolerated on university campuses. From UCLA to York to Columbia, we've read of anti-Semitism. We've read about swastikas being spray-painted onto Jewish fraternities. And we've also heard my story about feeling physically unsafe during an anti-Israel protest at the University of Minnesota, when, of course, an Israeli professor tried to speak. And more often than not, these acts of protest, hate speech, incitement, and anti-Semitism are met with little more than a light slap on the wrists. These students and anti-Israel groups face little more than words of condemnation. Their rights are the same, the rules are not enforced, and yet windows continue to be broken. If rules against hate speech and incitement are not enforced, but continually invoked, the situation will not improve. Recently, I received a hate video from a young anti-Israel student at an unnamed university. Of course, the video was awash with anti-Semitism, terror apology, hate speech. But the sentiment was not what bothered me. Due to my line of work, I encounter that kind of stuff all the time and don't have the time or the energy to respond to it. That said, what did bother me was that I actually reached out to the university and have still received no response. What also bothered me was that me, someone completely unaffiliated with the university, has to deal with the entitlement that anti-Israel students think they have to hate people, in fact high school students, 2,000 miles away. This kind of behavior is tolerated and it's actually getting worse. I call on university students to stop anti-Semitism. I call on universities to put a start to stopping anti-Semitism. Because this anti-Semitism no longer pervades just universities. It affects people like me, 2,000 miles away. My name is Lior Eisenberg, and I invite you to join me in the fight against anti-Semitism today.